Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Frizzle Verb Quiz Part 31. In this video, you must choose the correct word to complete the phrasal verb in each question. You may need to pause the video at each question to think of your answers. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, many people were upset that the violent criminal got off with such a light sentence. To get off, in this particular example, means to receive a less severe punishment for something. That's the reason for the people being upset here, is they thought that the criminal deserved maybe a more harsh sentence. But instead, he got off with a light or an easier sentence. Got it? All right, number two. And the answer is, most of the parents at my son's birthday party joined in with the children and sang happy birthday to him. To join in simply means to take part in something. And that's what happened in our example. The parents joined in or they took part when they sang happy birthday to the person's son. All right, number three. And the answer is, because of the bad economy, our company had to lay off 30 workers. To lay off workers, and this is a particular way to use this, to lay off someone, usually means that there's no work for these people or for this person, so the company lays them off. They don't necessarily fire them, where if you get fired, you lose your job for good. But if you lay off an employee, usually it means that they can hire them back when there's more work. And in our example, the economy was bad, so they laid them off or let them go. Got it? All right, number four. And the answer is, the economy was great in the first half of the year. So our company took on 20 new employees. Now, the economy was great in this example, and if a company takes on employees, they hire them. All right, that's what it means in this particular context, to take on employees, to hire them, to add them to their company. All right, number five. And the answer is, always make sure that you follow up your job interview with a thank you email to your interviewer. To follow up in this particular case means to, to continue to communicate with someone. And that's what happened. Well, this is what the advice is here. If you get interviewed, that you should follow up or continue to communicate with your interviewer. All right, maybe not to break that connection that you had when you got interviewed. All right, so to follow up, in this case, means to continue to communicate. Okay, number six. And the answer is, my aunt's cake recipe calls for six eggs and two cups of almond flour. If something calls for something, like in this example, for instance, it means it requires it, okay? If you require something, you call for something, and that's what this recipe does. It requires six eggs and two cups of almond flour. All right, number seven. And the answer is, my coworkers chipped in and bought our boss some beautiful flowers for her birthday. To chip in simply means to contribute to something. And in this case, all of the coworkers of this company, they chipped in, they all contributed some money, and they bought uh, some flowers for their boss. All right, that's what chip in means in this particular context. Okay, number eight.
And the answer is sales for January fell short of expectations made by many experts in the industry. If something falls short, it means that it fails to reach a certain expectation or standard. And that's exactly what happened in our example. For the sales for January, they fell short or they did not meet the expectations of the experts. Okay, number nine. And the answer is, I put off the sales meeting because many of the managers had told me that they would not be able to attend it today. If you put off something, you postpone it. And that's what happened in our example. The, the meeting that the person had scheduled was postponed because the managers weren't able to get there, weren't able to attend it. All right, the final question, number 10. And the answer is, the police headed off the drug dealers before they could reach the airport. To head off something, like in our example, means to intercept someone before they get somewhere, or in this case, to stop them before they will stop the drug dealers before they got to the airport. All right? They headed them off. They intercepted them before they got there. Got it? That's all for this video. Did you get them all correct? Well, let me know in the comment section. Thanks again for subscribing, everyone. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.